If you're suffering from hip arthritis like I did and you're trying to avoid surgery like I managed to do by treating it at home with the correct diet, with the correct resting, with the appropriate movement exercises and trying to allow your collagen to regenerate and your cartilage to rebuild, then you are doing most of the right things. But you might find that after a time, the pain doesn't seem to be going away. And before you give up, bear in mind that that could be tendonitis because the same problem that is causing your hip arthritis can also cause tendonitis. It's very common to have both at the same time. So you can address the tendonitis and you might be able to solve the pain. And in this video, I'm going to explain how that works. Welcome to Shape Fixer. I'm Andrew. I'm a nutritionist and I'm a sports coach and I have recovered from hip arthritis and mine was very definitely complicated by tendonitis, which I didn't understand at the time. So if you've seen my previous videos, and it's particularly the one about how I addressed my arthritis, there is no mention in that video of tendonitis because at the time I didn't know about it. Um, I have found out about it and I have been able to resolve it. So let me explain to you quickly how that works. You might know that as you get older, sort of over 50, 55 and beyond, that some of your muscles will weaken. It's a natural process called sarcopenia and your glute muscles or your butt muscles tend to go first. It's very common as you get older to develop what you might call a flat butt. So these muscles here, which are very strong muscles and very important in, in supporting your hip, get weaker and you stop using them as much as you used to and you compensate by using other muscles and particularly down the front area of the hip and this imbalance causes the femur the thigh bone to be pulled slightly forward in the socket there my hand is the socket it gets pulled slightly forward because these muscles are stronger than these muscles and when that pulls slightly forward it causes the bone to rub unevenly in the socket, which grinds away at the cartilage and leads to osteoarthritis. That is not the only thing that it does, because of course when this bone moves, it's moving in amongst a whole lot of other tissues and muscles and tendons around the hip area. And so when it goes out of alignment, it's very common to rub up against a tendon or a muscle. And as it's as you're moving and walking and being active, you rub that tendon and that tendon becomes inflamed and that is tendonitis and that has a pain of its own. And because it's right there, you're just aware of hip pain. And you may be addressing your arthritis and it may be recovering and you will still be in pain because your tendons are in pain. So let's talk about those tendons. The two most common ones to be affected are your iliopsoas tendon you don't need to remember the names it runs from inside your abdomen right up against your spine and comes down the front of the hip and attaches to the thigh bone and that is very close to the articulation point of the joint and so that tendon can be rubbed and that will cause you pain in the front of your hip sort of this this area if the pain is on the side and that, that's where mine was, then it is your iliotibial band, which comes all the way up your thigh and connects onto your hip and crosses the joint on the side. Now, if you're having pain in the side of your hip and you press your fingers into the side of your leg here and you find that there's, this is painful, then that's most likely the issue. Or you can stick your thumb right in on the... Oh, and you can find the point, and mine is still quite tender. So, luckily, the exercises that you do to address the arthritis, to strengthen up your glute muscles, will ultimately solve this problem too, because they will pull your femur back into position and take the pressure off those tendons. But it doesn't happen straight away. And while your cartilage is recovering and you're no longer getting pain 
from the inside the actual joint, you will still be rubbing on the tendons and you'll still have tendonitis. So those exercises, which I've covered in other videos and I will link them below, please go and have a look at those hip exercises for hip, hip arthritis. Look at those videos and do those exercises because those exercises will address the issue. They will strengthen up your glute muscles. They will restore the balance of power between the opposing muscles on the, on the front and the back of the hip and they will help to keep your femur in position and take the pressure off the tendons. But in the meantime, very carefully without pain, we can do some stretching exercises for these tendons which will just relax them and get them slightly looser so the rubbing isn't as intense. So, firstly, the iliotibial band on the side. This is not a complicated one, so this is my left leg. So, you're going to sit down on a flat surface. Take my, this is my saw hip. Move it across like that. Now, that might be enough. You might find that that is already quite difficult. And you might find a lot of tension in the outside of the hip here. Then that's fine. If, if not, turn away from it, because twisting your body like this will stretch it slightly more and if you can manage that and then you push this knee okay I can't really push mine very far because I'm not that supple yet but I'm working on it but you're just creating some tension and some stretch in the outside of the affected thigh don't do it if it's painful just just do it very very carefully for your iliopsoas the one that's down the front again I'm talking about my left leg here Stand up, take your affected hip, move the leg backwards, okay? Then bend the, good, the knee of the good leg to try and open a stretch here. And you can feel the muscle stretching here. Now don't, don't lean forward like this because that, will, that won't work. You have to try and stay as upright as possible. And you can feel it pulling in the front. Um, those two stretches will help relieve the issue, but the most important thing is to do those glute exercises because not only are you going to be fixing your, cart your cartilage or the realigning your joint, you are going to take the pressure off these tendons. So understand that it might just be tendonitis that you're feeling and don't be despondent. It doesn't mean that your protocol for regenerating your cartilage is now not working. Now, if the pain continues, of course, there are cases where your arthritis is so bad that you can't fix it at home, then you have to make another decision later. But address the tendon issue and remember that there's sometimes more than just one thing that is causing you pain and discomfort. So thank you for watching this. Thank you for subscribing and looking forward to seeing you in the next video.